Revelation 6, 12 through 14. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll that is being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, when he began assigning form, order, and function to a world he had created that was without form and void, he began making himself known to creation as authorities and roles were given to different parts of his creation. The earth was unproductive and waste, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and a wind of God was hovering over the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Thus God began making a sacred space for which his presence would dwell, for which would function for the images of God, and for which would be a cosmic temple for the Lord. Isaiah 66 verse 1 Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Thus the heavens and the earth, the temporal form and function of the world was created in Genesis 1. The lights assigned function on the fourth day were for signs and seasons, and for days and years. These lights had guided Old Covenant Israel for Sabbaths and festivals that served as a copy and a shadow of the heavenly things. This heavens and earth, this form and function were passing away, as one greater than Moses had come, the High Priest forever, Jesus Christ, had come to establish a new covenant, one without fault. Hebrews 8, 6 through 13. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is much more excellent than the old, as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, there would have been no occasion to look for a second. For he finds fault with them when he says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. For they did not continue in my covenant, and so I showed no concern for them, declares the Lord. For this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. In speaking of a new covenant, he makes the first one obsolete, and what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. Isaiah had warned that those who remained a part of this old heavens and earth would pass away with it. Isaiah 51, 4 through 6. Give attention to me, my people, and give ear to me, my nation, for a law will go out from me, and I will set my justice for a light to the peoples, my righteousness draws near, my salvation has gone out, and my arms will judge the peoples. The coastlands hope for me, and for my arm they wait. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath, for the heavens vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment, and they who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will never be dismayed. Hebrews speaks the words of Haggai. As God himself had promised the earthquake of Revelation, this shaking and removal of Old Covenant Israel's authority through the law. Hebrews 12, 25 through 29. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken, that is, 
the things that have been made, in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship, with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Revelation 6, 15 through 17. Then the kings of the earth, and the great ones, and the generals, and the rich, and the powerful, and everyone slave and free, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? Hosea 10.8 the high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. Thorn and thistle shall grow up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. Isaiah 2, 6-10 through 10. For you have rejected your people, the house of Jacob, because they are full of things from the east, and of fortune-tellers like the Philistines, and they strike hands with the children of foreigners, their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is filled with idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their own fingers have made. So man is humbled, and each one is brought low. Do not forgive them. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust, from before the terror of the Lord and from the splendor of his majesty. Christ walking towards his own crucifixion, had warned that these days would come. Luke 23, 28-31 But turning to them, Jesus said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that have never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Again, Jesus in Matthew 5 verse 18. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. The decreation of the form and function, the copy and shadow set in place by God had begun. The time for removal had come. Reformation was upon the heavens and earth. Salvation had gone out, and the arm of the Lord would judge the peoples. Mm -hmm.